Someone asked me about this deck, which I showed in one of my older videos about Tao de Marseille, specifically about the Convert Tarot. I'll put that video up here in the eye in the sky. If you click that eye, you, you'll see some cards, which will link you to those videos, and also at the end of this video. And this is a reproduction of the Convert Tarot, the earlier version of the Convert Tarot from the 1760 version, as opposed to the 1880 version. This is by Christophe Ponchet. I cannot find any information about Christophe Ponchet um, other than one web page uh, in French, which I will link below. I will also link below Yves, Renault, um, Yves Renault's website, which you can obtain a copy of this deck. Um, I purchased this um, at full retail price plus shipping from France to New Zealand. And I've spoken about this deck in relation to Yves Renault's reproduction of the 1760 Convert, but I've completely forgotten that I've never actually done a walkthrough of this deck by itself. So this is one of the many reproductions of the Convert Tarot, and if you probably would have um, seen by now, a lot of these reproductions of a variety of the many, many types of historical decks out there each person who reproduced them would have their own approach to reproducing them. Some of them will tweak the colors, others will tweak the proportion or the lines. You know, some would seek to restore uh, the images um, to what they would have been or to what we think they might have been before time take a huge chunk of its visual quality. Others, um, believe in keeping them as we found them in the 20th or 21st century. So all the um, signs of wear in terms of line clarities, in terms of quality of color and everything is part of what they seek to reproduce. So, so you have many, many different types of reproductions of many, many types of historical decks and students of tarot history, of art history, of cultural history, of history and of um, playing cards in general, often find it fascinating to see all the differences in approach and the, the little fine um, tune differences in all reproductions because then it help us, um, well I will obviously, I'm counting one of, I'm, I'm counting myself as one of these historical enthusiasts who would like to imagine how they were back in the day when they were fresh off the press, so to speak. So the 1760 Convert um, Tarot is the version where they use woodblock press and then um, the colors are hand stenciled. And so they, the, the, the Camois family did that from 1760 all the way to 1880. And in 1880, they moved to printing machine which has four colors. And as a result, two colors disappeared, which is the sky blue here and the green here. So you see sky blue and green, and that's how you can tell that this is the older version, the 1760 version of the Convert Tarot here. And so if you see um, in on eBay or various auction houses, if you see an original uh, print uh, with the sky blue and green on the images, and they go for thousands, then you know that's the reason, because the sky blue is no longer found in the uh, printed, machine printed Convert, but they're found in the woodblock um, print version, the older version of the Convert. Um, in a video, which also I will link up here and at the end of this video, I have made a comparison between this and Yves Reynaud's version of the Convert reproduction, but I've also put it within its historical context in that um, this is one of the oldest Type 2 Marseille, um, and before historians found out that Type 1 and Type 2 actually occur concurrently, initially they thought Type 1, Type 2 evolved from Type 1, and then they found out that Type 1 and Type 2 actually uh, occur together. And so the Convert was based on one of the oldest type 2 decks called the France um, by uh, Soissons and the reason why the Convert is now the foundation of modern Tarot de Marseille is 
I think the way I see it is historical accident. Um, Paul Martou, I can't pronounce his last name, he's French, obviously, um, from Grimaud in 1930, uh, reproduced the convert terror and call it Terror de Marseille. And then the name Terror de Marseille, Terror of Marseille, um, became synonymous with these older, um, historical older tarot decks from Italy and from France with a particular kind of patterns, especially you can see them in the minors, which we don't have here. This is majors only. And so now tarot de Marseille is um, a term referring to patterns rather than tarot from Marseille. Uh, but this convert is the foundation of how we come to see tarot de Marseille or understand the term tarot de Marseille as this particular pattern, which is basically the based on the convert, because Grimaud introduced it as Terror of Marseille in 1930. So that's why the convert become quite, um, has become quite important in our modern understanding of what Terror de Marseille is. So this is simply one of, well not simply, but one of the many takes on um, one of the many reproductions of this historical um, deck by Christophe Ponchet. If you speak French, I would love to hear you uh, your interpretation of what uh, this deck is about and why Christophe Ponchet's uh, reproduction is unique to him. I suspect his restoration not only of the colors, but perhaps of the proportion and of lines may have something to do with it. Um, for a comparison between this and the facsimile of um, one of the convert decks that can be found in the li in a library, in museums, and in private collections, because I, from what I gather, there's more than just one copy of the original convert. And um, Yves Renault um, reproduced one of those, and I've compared it side by side so that you could see the kind of tweaks that uh, Christophe Poncher has done for his for this particular deck. Um, in the French tradition, it is common to just use the, the majors, and that is what I've been doing, although when I did that, I wasn't consciously and deliberately wanting to model myself after the French style of reading only the majors, but um, it perhaps, um, you know, that's might explain why a lot of these ones are majors only because a lot of the times um, people read or use the majors only for that purpose and this also led me to believe that perhaps this was created or recreated mainly for the purposes of reading uh, however you term quote-unquote reading it as um, so I, I really quite like that because it's very um, nice in the hand it's big enough it's thick enough um, it's matte enough, it's smooth enough to shuffle and it's clear enough and the colors are very very much based on the original 1760, the older version of Convertero. Again the backs are um, all in French unfortunately. I can only make out something about the Florentine Massile Fincin or somebody from Florence, something about the Renaissance, Florence the Magnificent. Um, and then Marseille, so there's something about Florence and Marseille, I suppose there's an interaction perhaps between Italy and France. Um, a lot of these historical decks are from France and Italy. Um, 1760, um, and then there's something about 1460 to 1470 here, not quite sure. Something about the artistic um, in, the, in Florence between 1460 and 1470. Uh, Marseille Ficin is 1430 to 1499, so that's that's uh, the earliest um, tarot decks can be found in Italy around the 1400s. So there's something about that. Perhaps that's the oldest. Because tarot, um, the Visconti is a whole different beast. That's very high art, while this is mass-produced woodblock art. So I'll love to know about I might Google that a bit more. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so something about the Renaissance and... Um, Feel free to pause that and translate that from French to English. And I hope that's helpful and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.